Hey guys, Dangerous Thing Hero, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're here for the very first time. Today we're talking about the most anticipated portion of summer 2016 Boom Beach update. This is the brand new troop and believe me, you're going to be head over heels when you see her. So let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new troop, Cryonier. We now welcome you to the Boom Beach community. So Cryonier, as you can see, has been blinded by the snow and now she's all about the science. So she actually has a pretty decent splash damage about 127 per second and the uh, area damage beam extension is six uh, tiles so I'm going to show you a few of the attacks that I've done in the last couple of days using the combo that I now titled cry me a river and it features ladies only it's actually really awesome I am using supercells developers account so keep that in mind sometimes that means things can actually change by the time the update drops and you have it in your very own hands so I am going to show you a few replays and just to let you know, you will be able to get Cryonier when your armory is updated to level 20 and higher. So at level 20, you will get to meet this lady firsthand and make her your acquaintance. Now, I am attacking this resource base over here. It's on level 27, so in reality, you probably wouldn't actually get to attack that because, like I said, Cryonier becomes available at level 20 of your armory and higher. But I thought, heck, why not? This is a really cool replay. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind, and I will show it to you in just a second, Cryonier can actually damage your very own troops. So right now, keep a close look on those critters that are right at the HQ of this resource base. Cryonier will actually be able to knock down a few of the health points from those critters just like that. So you have to be careful and considerate of that when you're combining Cryonier with other troops. So for instance, uh, if you put, uh, let's say, Riflemans, they're definitely going to be ahead of Cryoneers because they have different range. Riflemen have shorter range. So just play around with that once you have the update in your hands um, you know I've played with multiple combos I've done heavies Zookas and Cryoneers I've done Cryoneers all Cryoneers Zookas and Cryoneers and so far I think Zooka Cryonier is one of my favorite combos and I'm actually thinking of trying to perfect the Smoky Cry Zooka combo uh, I think first of all the name sounds totally badass and second of all it actually has been working out for me quite quite all right so over here I'm kind of doing that even though I really don't need to smoke the Zookas to wear uh, Zooka and Cryonears to where they are because they have tons and tons of GBE but you know heck I was just having a good old jolly fun so uh, one thing that I will show you also after this replay is over is something that I found while trying to attack with a uh, Cryonier combo only and that is that uh, Cryoneers tend to be a bit naughty when they're on their own so let's finish this one and then we will jump right into and I will explain to you what I mean by them being a little naughty so this HQ is going to go down in no time it's only level 35 I mean uh, player base level 35 and just like that we're down I believe there were a few characters Casualties, but hey, that's okay. Uh, and maybe actually, no, I don't think, yeah, I think I lost a few Cryoneers. So I'm going to jump in. Oh, no casualties still. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Don't listen to me. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and switch to all Cryoneers and then I will show you something I was just mentioning to you. And also keep a close look on uh, Supercell's forums on Boom Beach Wiki and Boom Beach's Facebook page and Twitter for when the update actually drops so you can get and experience this crazy awesome lady in uh you know in your very own hands and she's definitely awesome uh perhaps the combo of cryoneers and zookas can become my number one combo and replace my current favorite combo of of kuka so let's go ahead and jump into this one this is Cryoneers only and I'm just gonna shorten it to cry because I it's a lot of it's, it's a lot of talking so uh, cry cry only and we're going to take down a few of the defense buildings I have a ton of GBE so I'm gonna use that you know and and not be stingy about it and then once I took down a few of the buildings uh, up uh, on the right flank I am going to flare the Zookas up and above the HQ now actually I'm being a little tricky here and saving my GBE by using only one box of critters to take take down that remain in rocket launcher so now we are going to deploy our ladies and have them go in action they're all on their own without zooka so you have to be mindful uh, of the fact that their splash damage is not as high as the splash damage of zookas so keep that in mind prepare your gbe accordingly if you have to boost your um 
your statues, go ahead and do so. If you have to be mindful of your GBE when you pre-clear some of the buildings, be careful with that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and now smoke screen our cryoneers over and above the HQ. And right now I'm out of GBE, but I think we're gonna be just fine. Now, one of the things that I have to tell you too, those pesky mortars are just, oh, they're such a pain in the neck when it comes to crying ears. I have to tell you, I definitely don't think, you know, I'm gonna keep them on the base in the future. Maybe it's just me being, you know, a little particular here. But here's what I'm talking about, about cryo crying ears being a little, a little naughty. Watch them walking away from the entire formation of all of the other crying ears. One after another, they will keep walking away. And that's definitely not ideal because you want them to just target and zero down on that HQ. That's definitely what Zookas would do typically. But crying ears start to walk around, walk away, and kind of remind me a little bit of a, you know, of what Ben Tim calls the drunken grenadier when, you know, grenadiers don't have a good aim. And these here are like, oh, I'm just gonna go hang out on this base, you know? So what I did realize is that when you're using Cryon, your only combo, you should probably have a little bit of a GBE. So let's go ahead and flare them right now so you can see exactly how many walked away. So there were three up above and three or two below. So uh, five or six Cryoneers have actually walked away from where they needed to be. Now that's definitely a little bit of a bummer. I don't know if it's something that Supercell is going to fix in the upcoming update or maybe even this update because like I said, this is the devs build so things may actually change. But I definitely would recommend that you keep a little bit of GBE handy so that you can reflare your ladies and make sure that they're where you want them to be. Now, I also have done a few other things where I've basically put... Um, uh, put one load, one boat of different troops with them. So, uh, so to observe whether or not adding additional troops in that combo will change the behavior of Pioneer. Now, I don't know if it was just a pure coincidence or not, but actually what I will show you next will show you that that changed the outcome. So let's jump in into the next one over here and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. I swapped one of the boats of Pioneers with one boat of Zookas. And even though we've already experienced the 50-50 split of 50-50 Cryoneers and Zookas, I thought, well, you know what? Let me give this a try and see what happens because I didn't quite observe that behavior when we were using the 50-50 split. So uh, I decided to give this another try and perhaps this is not the most scientific experiment, you guys. This is just me <laughs> playing on my own and talking about, you know, my, uh, the behavior that I observed and things that I've observed. We all play differently and I'm sure you all will have your own things to discover and add to uh, this uh, this video of mine. But what I did over here is, uh, like I said, one boat of Zookas, I cleared a ton of defenses up front, and then I will do exactly what I did the last time. I will just walk them over up and above that HQ. I will not actually worry about the shock launcher on a further left-hand side because it's definitely outside of the area, outside of the radius, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna save my GBE for something much, much better. I will drop all the troops right now, and because Zookas have a longer range, they will naturally stand behind Cryoneer, so I don't have to worry about them being hit up by the freezer beam of the ladies. And now, from now on, we're gonna clear up that further right hand side corner because that's where we're going to actually flare our ladies to and make sure that they stand where we want them to stand and actually check out whether or not they will remain in that one position. So let's go ahead and get to that flaring point right now because we need to uh, we need to get on moving, get on cracking. And I'm going to go ahead and shock the cluster of boom cannons and those um, uh, flamethrowers. Flamethrowers actually can also be of range with the Cryoneer, so just be really, really careful because otherwise, you know, you will have like a fire and ice uh, clash in there. So now that everybody is where I want them to be, I dropped critters over there and I'll drop another box of critters to distract the boom cannons. And watch that, you guys. It seems that Cryoneers are actually staying in the exact same spot where they were when I reflared them just after me adding one boat of Zookas. Whether or not it's a co coincidence, I don't know, but I hope you will get to find out on your own very, very soon. I hope your uh, armory is level 20 or higher so you can get this hot lady onto your boat and attack with her. Thanks for checking in. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, DT is out.